Was that a countdown? Yes, that was a oh, countdown. Was a countdown. Whoa. That was a countdown. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, off, hey, everybody. How's it going? We're off to a great start. <laughs> hey. Hey. Well, welcome to... Should I tell you now? Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, I know. Welcome to Crimson Core. This is going to be fun. Lots of rainy, lots of fun. Lots of fun. I like to introduce myself. I'm Curtis. And this is Jared. <laughs> this is the old man. This is the young man. Welcome to Crimson Core. We're going to talk about all kinds of good stuff. Having lots of fun. And get back to some of the old style stuff. So, well, I don't know about how old style. New style, old style. Whatever it goes. It's whatever it goes. Star Wars goes a ways back now. <laughs> Star Wars goes a ways back now. We're at what? Episode 10 or something like that. Oh, yeah. Something like that. I think something along those lines. Still don't get the idea how Leia all of a sudden her Jedi powers decided to come back and get her into the... But anyways, uh, we don't want to go there. That was probably a lot of sore feelings with a lot of people. But, so, uh, the movie was fine. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so um, one of the things we're going to touch base on is is we're going to try to make this our uh, thing only about 30 minutes long. So, and then we'll try to leave you hanging, figuring out what we're going to say next. On the next episode. So this is Crimson Core episode one. One. Um, so we're going to talk about um, a few of the games that we love and enjoy. So as everybody's all extremely excited, we'll touch base on the very first one that everybody's all excited about right now. The one that just came out, Legion. Yeah. Everybody is all ecstatic about it, spending all kinds of money, all the stores are going crazy, and everybody's all hyping and jumping. Oh, yeah, here we go. And we have Imperial players, we have Rebel players. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure Fantasy Flight is going to start coming out with robots. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's going to be another Droid fashion. Army, not robots, Droid Army. Get it? I'm trying to be more funnier. Oh, okay. Robots is more funnier than, you know, I guess Droid so. Army, I guess, you know. But anyways. Uh, so, Legion is going to be one of the games we're going to touch base on. Um, another game we're going to touch base on, a game that we all love to play. X-Wing. X-Wing. Yeah. Um, and we have some cool, cool looking new ships coming out. Uh, you mean just an upgrade? The Raw Renegades. Uh, yeah, your, your upgrade to your X Wings. Oh, yeah. You know what? The upgrade to the X Wings. And the wings move, I think. Well, I'm getting about six of those boxes. <laughs> I, I, you can get six U Wings, but. I'll just, I'll just I'll put all the U Wings off in some kind of. Yeah. Camouflage thing or something you know, like that. If, if those wings do move, that's going to be sold out so fast. It's, it's going to be funny. Well, I, I hope uh, Bastion's Games gets in about four or five. I'll leave enough of them so that it goes through because our 10, 11, 12 guys that play on a consistent we'll basis at Bastion's Game, they yeah. won't last very long. It's I'm not even thing. a Rebel player, and I want at least <laughs> it's a good. It's a, it's a good thing uh, I run the tournaments there because I would just grab them for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we're going to talk about those couple of games, and then we'll talk about a couple of other games that we play along the lines. But and we're not going to get really into those two games, those the other games, not. But the two main games that we're going to be focusing on is Legion and X Wing. And X Wing. Um, I feel that um, these games, especially with Legion now coming out, is all new, and everybody's all ecstatically excited about it. And X Wing, because of all the hype of Legion has kind of took in a little bit of a back seat. Um, I want to kind of not let it take a back seat because who doesn't love flying plastic ships around? I mean, mm-hmm. you know, um, and associated with Star Wars, gotta love it. Yeah. And it's already painted for those who don't want to paint the Legion armies. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> or if, have them half primed and not painted. If, if you're all wondering where we're all from, I could maybe try to maybe talk Southern accent. Make no. it look like guys from the States? No, you're not. Ah, oh, well, I try. We're from Fraser and Valley, BC, what? Canada. <laughs> so, I'm, we're in the Fraser Valley in Canada. Yeah. Um, Curtis is not from is, Chilliwack. It so is. Abbotsford. Yeah, I'm Chilliwack. It is raining cats and dogs. It my, is. My hair right now is literally soaked and greasy. I could probably turn my hair and take a comb and I could probably grease it all the way back and start singing Grease Lightning. That's wonderful. And start being John Travolta <laughs> without how wet my hair is. 
with as much rain as we've been receiving in this last little while. Yeah. Um, anyways, more, sorry. Time, more yeah. time indoors to play games, though. And well, we, we have lots of stuff coming up. Much. Working too much. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night at Bastions, we have, uh, we're playing, what, Wave 7 and down? Yeah. yeah so, um, we have uh, decided to, uh, well, we, we support um, several different squads in uh, the Valley here and in the Vancouver area. So, we got the Sea to Sky Squadron. We've got the uh, Wraith Squadron. We've got, uh, and then we've got our own Pride and Joy, uh, Crimson Night Ravens. Yeah. So the Crimson Night Ravens, which is run by myself and Jared here, have uh, had a brainstorm. So we decided to go through all the waves, starting from wave one all the way through. We're hit at wave seven. Yeah, we're at, well, we combined six and seven. That's because all the that makes sense. That's because all us rebel players were complaining, and some of the imperial players that were whining that they couldn't play, they didn't want to play, they want to play. They didn't have any scope ships? They don't have any. Yeah, they, yeah. So, so, so we've got six and seven together. And, yeah, we and took, it should yeah. be interesting, though. I expect to see a lot of Miranda and Dash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's there's From already the been, rebel world. There's already been talked about that, but I know one we of the guys is thinking of one we of the guys. <laughs> scum players. Yeah, we can uh, deal with Miranda. Um, and Dash. The I know that there's also one of the guys was thinking of running Corin and uh, Miranda. Yeah. And he's like, I think this will be phenomenal. I beat everybody up, but everybody would be mad at me. No, and I'm I, like, I don't play, think so. Play, play whatever you want to play. Cor right? Cor Corin, Miranda is. Dash Miranda is a threat. Well, I, I don't know. Corin, I mean, Miranda. Corin's, I Corin's going Corin's, down quickly. Corin's, <laughs> Corin's double tap is pretty good if you can maneuver him and get him in and out. So he gets two and shots. Him. Yeah. And then he gets no shots next turn. Yeah, but they fly them out, right? Get rid of them. Like, they get them way out of the way. So, But the problem the problem yeah. I see is I just don't think that Miranda can take that much heat by herself. No. So, no, because Miranda's got to fly around the edge. And yeah. Stay, so, like, yeah, I, I think that both of those, because that kind of a load of, yeah. you have to, like, fly in, fly out, and yeah. then yeah. one flies around the outside. So that's not really going to work all too well, especially that, unless you plan on using Miranda's slam every turn and shutting your weapons off. You might be able to get away from some things, but I just don't you, think you'll eventually get her. I don't know. So you know, especially against I, I don't think imperial, especially against imperial players that have the so gracious luxury of maneuverability, yeah. um, that causes problems. Um, but um, yeah, so we're running through waves one through seven right now. It has truly been a blast. I have yeah. utterly loved it. So, and the reason I loved it is because I'm seeing, we're seeing pilots like Luke Skywalker and... Yeah, yeah things that haven't been flowing yeah, in Yeah, it hasn't flown in ages yeah. and people are like, man. And, and we should also add that um, the pilot cards have to be from that release. Like in the case of Millennium Falcon, you couldn't use the new pilot cards. You had to stick with the old pilot cards. Yeah. That was but really cool. all the upgrade cards are fair game. So... Yeah, that's, it's really made a, it's really made a different impact with having all the... All the released upgrade cards um, accessible to all of our pilots, yeah. and then only using the pilots from those waves. Yeah. And then each week when we release a new wave, your loadout has to include One a ship from, from that, that wave. wave. Yeah. So what it usually works on, and the first week was kind of, oh yeah, okay. Well, yeah, it's Second week is like, oh yeah, okay. We started getting into a little bit more weeks. And, but I'll be honest with you, with all the new upgrade cards that were released, even with the old pilots. They make a difference. They, the they, they the, the difference. Rebels lost. In the first three <laughs> in the first three waves. No, your Rebels lost. Well, my Rebels always lose. I'm a, I'm I'm the losing Rebel. I just put a big losing Rebel. I was flying team. Rebels and I brought it. Oh was, man, here we go. You know, I was winning. <laughs> I this guy and his his so he's a scum player. Get this, okay? Scum player playing rebels, and he's—I've seen him play more rebel than scum. <laughs> and here he is trying to tell me that he's a scum player. I, but I've seen him more play scum. rebel than scum. I am imperial. I am scum. You're, but I have been. I—I I mean, we got I, Ray Falcon matched up with a whole bunch of stuff. I've just been enjoying that to pieces. This silly bomber that's come out in the last wave. I love this thing. It, it's like it's like the Imperial shuttle for only a bomber for rebels. 
flies the same, <laughs> goofs it's around so the same. It's a lot of fun. I, 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 but I won't fly any other room. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not true. He, he's the, he's the sticking with his whole the Ray Finn, Ray hey. Finn Bill. The I, I, I Ray had, Finn Bill. I, you know, I had, I've had three K wigs since they've come out. I've flown one. <laughs> <laughs> got my butt handed to me because you apparently can't be aggressive with the K wing. <laughs> I blows I up. Aggressive, but I could, yeah, it blows up. Yeah, it blows up. It so blows up. yeah, no, me and K wings just that's not my forte. No. Well, I mean, with, with that being said, the the wave categories of what we're doing has been it it's has been, been a lot of fun. Been a lot of fun, and it really has opened up a lot of eyes on how things are. Or how things could have been if they, all these cars were released. And don't get us wrong, we were also running with the um, updated FAQ. Oh, so yeah. all the modifications that FFG made through the FAQ were still uh, sufficient. Like they still had yeah. to be inserted into the into the yeah. box. So, so, so the rules are the updated ones. Update cards or you use whatever you want. Yeah. It's just you got to stick with the pilots of those releases and the ships of the that time yeah, so and I mean, cool. one of the guys, this couple of the guys, well, one mainly, I guess, that likes to, uh, you know, take a little dig when he can <laughs> to try to, you know, stir the pot, I guess you can say. Um, but uh, all in all, it's been a very exciting um, experience. Um, we're actually looking at uh, when this is all said and done, I think we'll just play like normal loadouts for a while. Probably at least for a couple months, anyways, just like normal low loads. But um, yeah. I have found a whole bunch of old kits at Bastions from prior. Oh, really? So we've got a whole mm -hmm. load of fun. And the good thing about it is um, all the all these kits that we have that we're going to be using for tournaments. Um, with all the new people. That have joined. Yeah, they get a chance to get. They're gonna get the some stuff. of the, some of the older older stuff. Like there's yeah. those really nice plastic um, stress uh, tokens. The, okay. The orange ones. The wide orange ones. Okay. There's like, I think there's like twenty of them. But it's 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 like um, it's like yeah, it's nice. So I was looking at the kits, and we're gonna have I'm gonna have some fun with them. That's good. That's um, good. So we, yeah, Bas Bastions has been good support of that way. Uh, Bastions has been really good about yeah. that. Yeah, he's he's they're, been able they're to out in They're just off the freeway. But our our, our guys, I mean, we we support pretty good there. I mean, yeah. there's about fifteen of us. There's I think the most we've had is, is fifteen yeah. out of our own. Yeah, out of our own group. And then if but, Vancouver, uh, if Vancouver shows up, like we ran the uh, store championship uh, last year. Yeah. There and I think we had about twenty two guys. Something like that. 24. 24, 22 guys. Yeah. He, he was he was he was expecting only to get like ten to twelve guys, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, I'm like I'm like um, no. that's not gonna happen. No. Like you're gonna get like you're gonna get like twenty plus guys to come off this. Yeah. No, I I don't think so. Oh oh, oh yes you will. So uh, you know, and that's out in Chilliwack, and it's 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 a rare uh it's it's quite a feat no, to come out from Vancouver yeah. for that kind of thing. That's a two hour hike for some. So. Um, it's, it's quite interesting, but I mean, with that being said, the stores, uh, that we support with, um, Crimson Core, as well as, um, Crimson Night Ravens, which is our squadron, uh, we support, uh, Bastion Games in Chilliwack, yeah. we support Nerd Haven in, yeah, in Abbotsford, and, uh, War Warcraft, Warcraft Games in Mission. In Mission. Yeah. We also, uh, we'll go out to Craving for a Game at Craving Three Place games. Mall. Yeah. Every Saturday at the beginning of the month. Bob's store there. Yeah. He, they, he has a tournament and it gets a good turnout. So. And then I want to I wanna start going oh. to the Ages 3 and Up. Ages 3 and Up. Uh, there's a shop. Oh, good one. I just forgot the name. But uh, in uh, Maple Ridge. Just well, over the bridge. It's a new one. Just open it's up. a new one. I, I will get the name and say it in another broadcast. But they've started up and they do a bit of X-Wing there as well. It's actually a nice store. It's got lots of play area. So, uh, so that's good. Like yeah. there's, there's, um, out here in BC, it's, it's very, um, uh, the X wings, uh, quite, quite large. And I just think right now it's taking a little bit of a back seat because of, well, we just, um, Legion, we just finished so. all the, the regionals too. The, we just finished nationals no more than yeah. two but weeks ago. I believe. No more than that, but not that, but what, 
three weeks ago or so. Nationals? No, I think Nationals finished about two weeks ago. Yeah. But, but, I, but I mean, our, on our regionals, we had, in BC, we had, what, 120? 120 people show up? There was 120. Just across the border, two, three hours down the road in Seattle, they had like 150. Yeah, so with, shows. within the so within we, the time frame of two weekends yeah. apart, um, there was about three hundred X wingers. Yeah. Um, well, you know what? Pilots. Let's go pilots instead of X wingers. We'll go pilots. Oh, that's much pilots. more cooler. So <laughs> um, the the we had pilots flying there over about three hundred. So that's yeah. that's pretty good for out west. I think we can almost compete with the East. Yeah, well, we've got lots of squadrons that have set up all over the place. There's quite a few in Seattle as well, so. Yeah, it's 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 been good, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, we don't have any of our swag here, but um, Crimson uh, Night Ravens has got some really cool swag happening, and uh, we've got some cool... Yeah, we got a good base. we got lots of players. they yeah. got, they got their yeah. own Facebook page. It's running pretty good. Yeah, and... Uh, as for Crimson Core, well, this is just this year, like I said, this is episode one. Yeah, so it's a, it's a start. I it's mean, a start. Today, we're going to sit here and flap our gums a bit, but down the road, well, I mean, we'll get into broadcasting uh, the, the, the games and, and all that as they happen out in the Fraser Valley. And get, let, let people see uh, see some of how we play. Yeah, it's it's been uh, it's it's uh, it's been really good. So I, I think that one of the things we're definitely going to be doing is we're going to be trying to get back to the waves. So because we've already started this wave campaign, I'm pretty sure what is going to transpire um, is that I'm pretty sure what will happen is, is when we have like one of our episodes, we're going to be doing it. We might do it here where we're doing it right now, and we might actually play a wave with an upgrades of each thing, just kind of do our own little uh, gathering with what we're going to explaining the loadouts and what we used because with it, it truly has been, I highly recommend, highly recommend if you have a big, like a, a good solid group of pilots. Yeah, in um, store. Or in a store that you area. play on like a consistent area. Run through the waves. I would, I would recommend running through the waves. Yeah. Um, and, and really focus on trying to stick with the pilots and those planes or the, the those ships. those ships. Yeah. Um, let the upgrade cards go. Like, by all means, let them yeah. go. Just make sure that if you're running the waves, you're following the release dates of everything, right? When things were released so that you're not like, that's including the epic ships because there's cards from the epic ships right. that were released. And the first few, three or four weeks that um, I was doing this, I was, you know, I've gotten better now, but you know, we, we didn't have, I didn't offload what stuff was, <laughs> yeah. was, was, was released at that time. But um, as I carried on through it. I was able to make sure that we could, you know. But uh, other than that, um, we're having to have some fun. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get poked fun a lot at uh, about my loadouts, as she already has tonight once. <laughs> um, you know, and you can poke back, so it's all good. Well, you know, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to get by one of those uh, talking uh, Chewbacca Wookiee masks things. <laughs> I love those things. And those I'm going to call myself the Wookiee Man. The Wookiee Man. Yeah. And then when somebody starts coughing too much, I have to just go pull out my Wookiee mask well, and start you know screaming. What? That, that doesn't bother me because if you're the Wookiee, I'm Han Solo. Well, that doesn't work very well. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. You already just, went there. You know. Yeah. So. Let the Wookiee win. <laughs> Wookiee win. <laughs> oh, that's <nice> right. <laughs> Let the Wookiee win. Oh. Well, another thing we should bring out is um, with X-Wing being as strong as it is, as it is out in our ways, so there's lots of charity events and all that that uh, include X Wing, and one is coming up at the end of the month. Well, yeah, Target Lock. Yeah, uh, yeah, Target Lock. Target Lock is uh, huh. he's really James has been going to town with that there boy. He's oh, got he so did much. Last year, I he's went got it last year. <laughs> he's got the best event of the year. So, so Target Lock, get a little of this. You all go what? You gotta be kidding me, right? <laughs> Check this out. I gotta tell you, this is crazy. <laughs> okay, so he has decided to put a twist. And you're probably wondering does. what the twist is. You want me to does. tell you? Yeah. you ready? Yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, here it comes. The twist is this. So, you are your loadout has to include one ship from every faction. Yeah. So, it's a mixed list of one ship from every faction. So, your loadout has, has to have three ships. 
and it has to have one of each faction in it. Yeah. Which means all the upgrade cards, everything from high to high water, you can put on any ship. So you can put like Imperial cards on rebel ships. Only if it says Imperial, only rebel only. If it's specific to a rebel ship itself, you can't move it to other ships. Well, then your thing is incorrect then. No. Your loadout, the, your scum loadout, all, because that's rebel. Finn no, is strictly rebel. Well, exactly, but those you get rid of. Where it says rebel, you get rid of it, you can play a rebel card on an Imperial or a scum. But if it says only good for TIE fighters, it's only good for TIE fighters. Oh, well, you're talking. So, okay. Well, you know, didn't I just say that? I think Sora just said that. He's totally mixing my words up again. I just said that you could take any card from the cards of the upgrade cards and put them on your ships. So Finn, which is a normal, just straight rebel card, you could put on a scum ship. Yes, you can. Okay. Or an imperial ship if you want. So yeah. you could take that blank dice that Finn gives and put it on... I don't know, a TIE Punisher, and re-roll it, and get an extra dice. Crazy, right? Crazy. And then this guy goes, and he tells me, oh, no, but you're supposed to do this way. Well, obviously, if, it's, if the card says TIE Fighter on it, you can't put it on a on a I'm Rebel just, Bomber. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just people. saying. Because who'd show up with the TIE card on <laughs> a Rebel Bomber? Nate. No, I'm thinking you. <laughs> Oh, that, that might be true, actually. Yeah, well, that could be true. Yeah, that could very well be true. You know? Yeah, I'm just looking out for you, buddy. It says you. Yeah, it says I, I don't believe you. I think that you're simply... I think you're false, falsifying the truth. Uh, there you go. But, uh, yeah. So, out here in rainy BC. So <laughs> It is. Um, we, we're we trying to keep these under load. So, the first episode is going to be extremely minimal. So, we want to get you all involved... Welcome to Crimson Core, yeah. Jared and Curtis. We will run a couple of contests and competition kind of things. So if we start doing stuff like that, keep posting because log in and if we decide to come up with some kind of a trick or something like that, we'd be giving out Crimson Core swag. So we're looking at doing some swag and you know t-shirts. Like we've got our own t-shirts right now, but I mean we could be giving out t-shirts. We could be giving out. Um, you know, uh, templates and uh, cards and all this stuff. So keep posted and and keep going because we do have the plan on trying to give out some swag. Oh yeah, well we'll, so, yeah, we'll, we'll have the same fun. Well, that a lot of places. You know, and uh, where we are, we are looking at trying to do some bigger events down the line as well. So, like uh, right now, we're just going to be focusing on our local store areas. Yep. So um, we'll have like the competitions and the tournaments and stuff within the three stores that we or four stores with the mission with the metal ridge one well five six i guess six i guess bob well i don't know if we can do with bob it's pretty small there's a lot of people there it's not a lot really room to put no, but we'll see how it goes we still have to but we're uh, still working on the uh on the finer, technical we're, side we're still working on some well. final final <laughs> details of, of certain things so yeah. um but i'm a hard butt i'm trying to get things done I want to get things posted and start getting this out there. Yeah. Well, I want and, to, and I just so everybody knows, I wanted this done in January. <laughs> January. <laughs> we are in March. Oh, so April. 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 You but, know, I mean, tech, I, in all fairness, we had technical issues. Well, yeah, my laptop packed it in. That, that'd be a Well, maybe one. you should take better care of your laptop. Yeah, maybe I should. But either way, it packed it in. So that, that kind of held things up. Yeah, and then mine, mine yeah, didn't have anything on it. You're, no, and it also packed it in a little while, too. Well, Mister. it's working right here. It's working now. It's working now. Hey, at least mine's working. Yes, yours is working. Man, alive. Yeah. Man, man, man. So. Somebody had to get it done because, you know, like, <laughs> if somebody's laptop wasn't working, this was never going to happen. So, anyways, I'm looking forward to um, chatting with all of you. I want to do some, you want to get some live streams going eventually down the line where we're going to do a live stream and have people um, chime in on the conversation. Um, you know, like, we're going to have lots of fun. So Yeah, as, as things go along, we're, we're going to we're gonna try to get, bring people in and we'll discuss things. We'll actually try to do some releases when things come out. Have some fun that way because it gives me an excuse to buy ships. Watch out for the Saw Renegades when they come. 
You want me to release yeah. that one? I'm gonna, you yeah. see me while we're releasing and opening it up? I'm probably going to leave yeah. everything else aside just play with the little ships with the wings. So, mm-hmm. And, and we want to we wanna get a site together that shows what's going on in, in the Valley for play and, and uh, be friendly to new users, old users, people just looking for a laugh. Just, just have a good time and uh, share the games that we love to play. Yeah, and like I say, they, right now, our, I think our, our main focus for this channel is going to be Legion and um, X-Wing. Yeah. So um, I think that gives us lots to work with. I yeah. mean, I, 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 there is other games that we play that we might touch base on every now and then or yeah, somebody I mean, brings up. But. I mean, you're into Blood Bowl. Yeah, I'm, I'm into Blood Bowl. Uh, Game of Thrones, yeah, but we're... Yeah, I, you know. I, I got, uh, I mean, I got Dead Zone. I got, 40, at, I got 40k, I've got tanks, I've got War looking, Machine. What was that, like, Glory of Honor or Glory or something? Glory of Honor or something. We were looking at some kind of World War II. Oh, yeah, we were looking at a World War uh, II okay. game that okay. looks awesome. Let me let me ask, okay, uh, here, check this out. I only, we've only got about like five minutes left yeah. before we have to pack this in. But check this out. So if you like playing X-Wing and you love history, okay, how would you love to fly a B-52 bomber. Hello! Then Thank you very much. Hurricanes and Spitfires. Hurricanes, Spitfires. Yeah. Having tabletop zeros? warfare. With, zeros? With, with all the cool zeros? Planes. Yeah. So, right. but, oh. but you got to remember, when we saw that, a, a month later, Legions was released, and some of us have really empty bank accounts. <laughs> uh, well, with that being said, um, oh, we were really excited about trying to see about getting into that game, but um, like a lot of us people, we have a lot of games. Okay. So, and we're all about Star Wars, and I love Star Wars. Yeah. Not too fond of some of the new movies as of late. I don't know what Disney's doing, but anyways, um, I'm really, really, really looking forward to playing Legions and uh, talking about it and. Um, seeing all the great new stuff that's coming out yeah. uh, in line with it and well, seeing know, all the new paint jobs. What I love about Legion so far, and I'm I, on more Facebook groups than I can even keep track of now, is, I mean, for X-Wing, we have these great mats, lots of mats, for, even FFG, other people, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of great mats. You would think most tabletop games, people play with mats. Legions, I swear, people are building dioramas to play the game and you look at the detail and the excessiveness they're doing in detail for the train and all that it's like like holy cow it's just you can Didn't somebody do like the endor oh, endor stuff like oh, they put out the whole thing with like the huge they put that darth vader's little like that huge tower thing that oh, yeah. yeah they built that with all the walking oh, yeah. well the, 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 there's so i mean you guys have all probably seen it on YouTube. There's just so much excitement and creativity going on with this game. I just, I can't help but think it's just going to be, it's going to be a killer. It's going to be a look. The games, from what I've seen, is a lot of fun. My army's half painted, so I haven't played it yet. You know That'll what? change soon. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, I wonder if we could actually run. So let's say we do the like, Endor. So we do a space battle. And then when the space battle's finished, we have like shooting little like something that shows like people shooting down on the ground. Then we just straight to a battle on the end. That's all one huge. Why? I've already got rebel ships that fly on the map. You're, you're totally wrecking my fun here. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. What a Debbie, you know how what long a Debbie it's, Downer. You, could, you know how long it's going to take to play a Legion game? That's Do you know hours. how long it's going to take for people to paint that stuff? Hours. Well, I, I've got lots in primer. I will say that being an Imperial player, I'm actually having more fun painting with Rebel soldiers than I am the Stormtroopers. But that's fine. I love the speeder bikes. Wait, I love the walkers. Here, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an Imperial player. I'm just going to primer my guys white and put a little black paint on them. Done! Yeah, no. Come on. No, half my, half my squads are black, done as death troops, and the other half are white. And they all have to be... The 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 they gotta be unique. Everybody's coming up with their own unique stuff. They gotta be cool. Uh when I buy legions, I'll tell you what I'm gonna be doing. Just gluing them together. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. 
it's just gonna be basic plain Jane stuff. But anyways, um, great talking to you, or well, hope you all listening. Talking at you. Talking at you. <laughs> uh, looking forward to future chit chats and conversations. Have yourselves a fantastic evening, and thanks for tuning in to Crimson Court. Good night.